to pick. I don't know, you got options. I think you need something with disable though. Like, if there wasn't a Nyx, I would have said Ember would be good. Blood Seeker. You may now so want to read, like, know exactly what matchup you want to get. You want to know that they're going to be sending that Necro top. You always want to TP as these supports early on. Yeah. 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 Necro oh. is going to be in some trouble. With first hit bash coming out. Yeah, now the coconuts bounce it back and forth, but they're already able to pick up the rune and back away for now. Looks like EG going to be able to escape without too much harm, I would imagine. They do have another impale in just a second, but Crit's going to get the He's jump away. low ground, though. Actually, he ended up not quite getting it, and well, with that slow. Are they actually thinking about turning back around onto Fade? Fade in some trouble. It looks like he's gonna get dropping as well. First blood drawn by Yuri. Necro left the fight to go block his two points rather than stick with his teammates. They happen to get up close enough. That is a scary ass lane for an Earthshaker. Yeah. It's already getting to the point where it's. He's just gonna be going down. The charge again. comes out with the blood right, it should be more than enough to chase him down. Easy kill there as well. Fade not able to make anything happen to turn that back around. So EG continuing to assert some dominance. A 2,000 gold lead at just around 13 as the blood seeker. Uh, means that Yang has decided to come mid and well, no points in Fissure actually on the Earth. Not often that you see that. Oh wow, zero to huh? not, not even the one point. Dude is pretty valued to get that. Top top lane. Easy kill again. Uni and fear. Signed to die for it, but it honestly doesn't matter. He's almost level six too. This is gonna start to get pretty ugly. Particularly once he ganks. Top, top lane now, maybe. They can actually get universe, it looks like. He's gonna go down. That's something. That's this. Oh, this is pretty tough to actually make this work. They need the initiation to come from the coconuts. So they're gonna walk forward now. They're underneath the ward. There's gonna be a catch. The silence is there as well, though. And the turnaround. Io shows up. Mr. S not going down. The charge is coming through from Fear as well. That's all gone wrong for BGJ again. Oh, it's very hard. That's the problem with playing versus a like, Wisp team. Like, you could go for these type of ganks and your damage is already minimal. I just TP's in and counteracts everything that you're doing there. This is already looking pretty faster. Silo is just straight up jungling. Artesian Fear, just kill Yang bottom, and now they're gonna put the pressure of the tower on top. Want to dive past it. And right. they have incredibly good wards. They're seeing everything that Vichy's doing. It's Rupture. very problematic here right Mid lane, now. Yang gonna walk away, but... Well, he has level 5 in the Fissure. It's not gonna be enough to keep him alive. Well, then Pale the turn around. Is it gonna be enough damage? No, most assuredly not. And, and bottom now, Siler getting bullied by Arkezi. Another root, and he's just dead. He's actually just gonna get ran down. The rotation's oh. coming in. Cast Coconut. Good. That's pretty good. That's a decent turn around. The Impale's there as well. a little bit more damage, but I think that this should still he's be Arkezi going down. A big kill. Diving. That's the one way that they tower a bit. Bottom lane. HEJ again set up. They realize right now that the Blood Seekers in the area. Silar are gonna get caught. They have to silence out as well. But again, a lot of damage onto this low through. The coconuts were bouncing, the right clicks are there. Might be enough with the mouth as well. Now a big excuse me, but Io comes in and they're able to get the turnaround. So even when it was looking like it was a possibility of something good, oh, yes, nothing for cool free. Oh, three. That's, this is good. This is on ward, but I think they were looking for more. Top lane? Silar? Maybe gonna get dove? Maybe they'll just suffice to take the tower. Oh, he's got under vision. There's a charge coming out. Universe is looking to stop here. Oh god. Another quick kill. Silar going to die here underneath the tier one. And should be the master Madness up. And the other four of the four players in EG can probably handle and thunder on their own at the moment. I mean, look at this. No respect given at all. They're just running at this Witch Doctor, and he's just gonna die. They They're do gonna get turn back around. Okay, crit ends up falling. Not a bad way to make this start. And with the Reaper side view, just to keep fear in place for the moment, this should be enough. Oh, he gets the charge away. Fear able to get out of that one. But it was an IO kill. Quite on the mark. On cooldown. Yeah, he's got Yule Scepter already on the Chikiro as well. So a little bit of enhanced movement speed on top. Get away, bottom. Charge coming through, past TPs, but the tower's already gone. Now time to run away. Fear not wanting to get caught, but it looks like he might be one that gets brought down here. Is another kill going back for CJ. Okay. It's, it's okay. I mean, they lost 8k gold lead on top of a 5 k experience lead. Experience maybe will help a lot if they get locked in, but relocate 
fuel scepter lift up they caught themselves the big bad wolf not looking too bad right now he's the drop in spite of the shrine heal like the smoke that's in the attack. jungle right now eg feeling rather safe but they might end up losing crit here the intel comes through they find him and it's still for the earth shaker meanwhile you they're also bringing yang down to the bottom and this is this is scary for Thunder here, even though they have their issues coming. He's not here just yet. Yeah, scary stuff indeed. Macro Pyre already down. They're caught for the moment. Coconut's gonna bounce as well. This is gonna be the Dix Assassin already dead in silence. And, well, Fierce caught himself with another. Meanwhile, the Necro is going to get caught as well. Or Shaker coming in. Can he make anything happen? No. It's a little bit too little too late. Well, it looks like they're gonna lose that Witch Doctor as well. Because he is eventually going to get ran down. He's making a few good work for it, but. Got him. Got the cast of the on Yes. Where Thunder's positioned before they even make the play. Universe already knows he's being stalked. He pings it out. He's gonna get gone on though here. Maybe he can get caught out with Shaker blinking forward. That's ah, just a, maybe a little bit too little, too late to relocate. It's gonna echo slam, oh, alright? They bring him down. Not a bad way to start this one, but now they need to get out with everybody else. Fade is going to go down as well as the Witch Doctor, and now they fully committed to this. Oh no, they're getting completely torn apart. Yang is gone to Necro. He can stay alive for a minute, but only actually a couple of seconds. They've caught Silar as well, and well, we should be able to bring him down. It doesn't look like it. And now they commit to it, go to a rush. Exactly where you go at this point again. It's sort of been the story of this game, it feels like. that. It's like, not only are they getting, not only are they just, the, the lanes were such a blunder, but they're getting completely out of the way. Right here at the moment too. But Fear is going to pay with his life here. All right. He got the ward down, but they know it's there. So it's going to get dewarded instantly. Doing this on his stream recently too. They're going for the the range one, the sniper one through that we all used to see so often. Now, I think he's pretty alone top, he's got Aegis. All right, big kill here as well. They're holding on for the moment, and they are going to be able to bring him down. The bear's still staying strong here as well. Yang does have a blink dagger back up, but right here, and he gets a little bit too scary. And actually got the relocate out. In the meantime, the Necro dies over by the mid lane, which is where they relocated to, and Crit oh, get the tether out. It's going to be tough. Definitely no. <laughs> nope, he's got a lot of stick charges though, but he should die to the Malgus and Ernie. Yeah, he's good. They end up being able to find that one. Meanwhile, Fear got the charge in, but wasn't able to send the scout out. Nyx is actually here though, so they're actually going around the sentry wards right now, and they do have eyes on the RTZ. The impaled though, it doesn't have connected. Yang is there alone, trying to bring it down low, and they actually do it. They get the relocate into the tree. That's gonna keep RTZ alive for the moment. Mr. S pops the BKB, turns the fight onto Silar. He's ripping him to shreds. Oh, it was looking good, but only for a moment. And now BTJ on the full retreat. The Necro gets eaten alive. Echo Slam. It is not going to be enough to fail. Still lives. Oh, he does finally end up dropping, but it comes at a hell of a price. Triple kill for the most druid. I think this game is actually just over. They have to commit so much just to kill one hero. Beautiful defensive relocate coming out from crit, but that already felt like it's a very desperate maneuver coming out from Thunder. Going for the, the back lines and they have, to land, they have to get this fight executed so perfectly and they can't fight. And this should be a clean, easy racks for EG here. Yeah, this is gone completely not the way that they wanted to. I mean, do they even just stick around for another one or do you think they're going to play it more safe? Play safe. Everyone's responding. I don't, don't need to take the risk. Some of the things that it's just... I, 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 Everything is going right for the UG lineup here, and again, they're gonna go on to Universe. He Crit has does have relocate. Up high, though. And they're relocating in with Crit, and now the Gangers become the Yankees as they've caught themselves and killed off the oh, Witch Doctor. This did misclick. He used his hero, Savage Roar, not the bear. Oops. I was pinging at himself. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, there is going to be the. Like an ult he used, the chasing Sumail, he pops his BKB, ruptures, turns to fight, and well, now Lycan needs to run away. He is going to end up being brought down to the head. And now they've caught themselves. It's no shaker as well. It's a Witch Doctor ulti, but it's not really doing a whole hell of a lot. He falls as well. Three gone, no buyback. EG looking to clean this one up. Hmm. Surprised they haven't fallen again. Yeah. Universe is sitting over here in the trees, ready to blink on top of somebody. They're trying to get set up onto Sumail, and oh, let's give me the final hurrah. They actually get a two-person ice patch with the macro pyre down. Yang in a hell of a lot of trouble. He is just getting torn to shreds again, and...
starting to drop low. Silar trying to do anything at all, but he's ruptured. They caught themselves in the necro yet again. He's gone in just a second here, most likely. As Sumail chases him down. There are a couple of stuffs going out, so they're going to hold on for the moment. Fate was able to get out there as well. Mjolnir Proc dealing a hell of a lot of damage, and Sumail doesn't care about your towers. The turnaround, the echo frame, even though if you're doing that, actually bring him down. Sumail is a full 90 seconds, so buyback. But I don't know if this can end up turning into any more kills after the fact. They're getting more thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, little no mistakes coming up for EG. They could have probably played a little patient there hitting with villains, but they wanted to go for the kills. They wanted to end this game and just have a game. Now the wrap round is coming. They're, they're still here. They don't have Echo Slam, but they have pretty much everything else, and they will spot out Universe inside the trees. They get the initiation, but they're already to start for our team. He's on the other side. He does get caught out now by the Earthshaker as well. Roar comes out, that forces Gang away, and now underneath the tower, yet again, Silar going to go down. And they are not really able to stop the pressure coming from EG. Yang is eventually going to fall there. And VCJ just need to back out. They did get so it's, yeah, it's third. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty tough. Yeah. It's not what you want to happen. Two or three tower down. Arteezy hit from the low ground, doing quite a bit of damage. Unlikely that they're going to be able to blow them up. Maybe they can kill the bear. It does end up falling. It's a nice little 300 gold in their coffers. Yep. Pretty interesting approach coming out. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And it's forced Necrophos to go into this blink build to try and get on top of them. Really okay. Okay. They got caught. Yeah, is there. Silar is going to try and run away again. And actually, maybe going to be able to bring down Crypt beforehand. No, they get the fear. He's forced to run he's away ruptured. pretty quick while well, he's ruptured. It's GG called. Yeah. Yang has had enough. I think it's been at that point for quite a while, but they tried to stick it out and they didn't make some mistakes. But EG playing a very crisp game. Minimal errors from their side from the start to the finish.